Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. I've received several comments about the dire consequences of eating tilapia. They basically come down to all tilapia comes from China, and if you eat tilapia from China, you'll die. But are these fears about tilapia based on documented facts? Or are they beef and dairy industry propaganda to increase declining sales? Or just another clickbait to send you to a website to sell a product or service? This video looks at what is tilapia, U.S. tilapia consumption and price, omega fatty acid content, is eating tilapia worse than eating bacon, pesticides, chemical residue, and mercury content, and does eating tilapia increase your risk of cancers and dementia? In the U.S., tilapia is a generic name for hundreds of species of mainly freshwater fish of the cichlid family. The species originated thousands of years ago in Africa and the Middle East. It is depicted in an Egyptian hieroglyph and inhabited the Sea of Galilee in biblical times. In the U.S., the mild-flavored, light-colored varieties are preferred over darker species. In the U.S., tilapia is currently ranked fourth in annual fish and seafood consumption behind shrimp, salmon, and tuna. One reason for its popularity is its relatively low cost compared to other types of fish and seafood. If you fear eating farm fish, your choices are rapidly dwindling. Currently, tuna is the only wild-caught variety in the top four. Omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids are two essential fatty acids the human body cannot make. Both must be obtained from your diet. Several individuals and websites claim tilapia has an unusually high ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids. Most websites that make this claim do not document the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3. When it comes to fish and seafood, fatty fish are the best sources of omega-3 fatty acids. But many Americans prefer milder flavored white fish to more intensely flavored dark fish. While tilapia provides omega-3 fatty acids, the amount is only a small fraction available from fatty fish. The claim that tilapia has a higher omega-6 to omega-3 ratio compared to bacon must be to increase bacon sales. One serving of bacon is usually two cooked slices weighing about one half ounce. A serving of tilapia is four ounces pre-cooked. One serving of tilapia compared to one serving of bacon appears to have six times more omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids. The ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 is about one to one in both cases. Comparing serving sizes by equivalent weight shows there's very little difference between the amount of omega-3 and omega-6 in tilapia and bacon. For about 25 calories more than a 16-ounce serving of bacon, you get about seven times more food with a fraction of the sodium and four times the protein. It's also a better source of potassium, vitamin B12, and vitamin D. Tilapia are fast-growing vegetarian bottom feeders. Predatory fish are known to have high levels of mercury. For years, Americans have been warned to limit consumption of tuna and other predatory fish. It's amazing how some people emphasize the risks of eating tilapia while ignoring the risks of eating other forms of meat raised in the U.S. Some concerns about farmed Chinese tilapia are valid. Seafood is regulated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. The FDA has issued alerts about importing tilapia from China as recently as September 18, 2018. 
Food industry lobbyists spend millions of dollars annually to reduce or eliminate government oversight, regulations, and inspections. While China was a leading supplier of farm-raised tilapia, there are other sources. There are many factors affecting the safety of all food sold in the U.S. If you're concerned about the safety of farm-raised fish and seafood, eating wild-caught is an option. But keep in mind, the world's oceans are not pristine. A growing concern is finding microplastics in wild-caught seafood. There are no shortage of claims on the internet about a food or food group that increases your risk of cancer and dementia. Many claims are based on fear to sell a product or service or to obtain personal information. Your overall diet and lifestyle plays a larger role in decreasing or increasing your risk of some cancers and dementia. Some risk factors for dementia, cancer, and other diseases include a sedentary lifestyle, eating a diet high in refined carbohydrates, omega-6 fatty acids, and other inflammatory foods, Occasionally eating tilapia as part of a DASH or Mediterranean-style diet may decrease your risk of cancer and dementia. Tilapia facts include that most tilapia sold in the U.S. is farmed. About 5% is domestic and the remaining 95% is imported. It originated thousands of years ago in Africa and the Middle East. Most varieties are fresh water. It's an affordable source of protein and good source of potassium, vitamin D, and vitamin B12. It provides less omega-3 fatty acids than oily fish, and imports are regulated by the FDA. Some myths include that all tilapia sold in the U.S. is genetically engineered farm-raised from China, that all Chinese tilapia is raised in industrial waste, the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids is high compared to other foods. Eating bacon is healthier than eating tilapia. And that eating tilapia increases your risk of cancer and dementia. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.